So welcome everyone to Zinc Daily Vlogs. We're so excited to bring this to you on a daily basis and just our information uh, that we've had kind of stuck in our heads and now we're able to get out. So we're so excited for you to join us in today's episode. So and along the lines of that, that's gonna be uh, creating um, a little bit of confidence, right? In your person and creating a little bit of knowledge. And, and yes. what, are those, what are those two things kind of go hand in hand with one another is, is life lessons on and both on and off the court. With confidence. Yeah. So I have a, a saying about confidence is that confidence is the hardest thing to obtain and the easiest thing to lose. And I think that's yeah. a big one, right? Uh, like confidence is so, like it can, it can take you know, years and years of practice and, mm -hmm. and to get good at something and, and to be able to feel that confidence and it can go in an instant. Mm -hmm. And to be able to keep the confidence, I think a couple things, you know, we call, you and I talk about this a lot, is kind of drowning out the noise, mm -hmm. you know, uh, for let's call it Roger Federer, who is doing a, an extremely great job of n blocking out the noise. When you're number one in the world, you, uh, you have a lot of noise. You have the media, you have, you know, people trying to knock you down, you know, you know now he's dealing with injuries. You know, you have a lot of stuff that's, you know, and, and, and you got to ignore that stuff and you have to have a team around you, mm -hmm. parents. And this is what we talked about yesterday was coaching. Mm -hmm. Coaching, if you don't have a good coaching staff around you that believes in you, then all of a sudden the confidence can, yeah. can go bad. And I, I see that a lot. And, you know, I'm going to talk real on this, uh, on these, on these video blogs, because it's real important to me that I get it out there that if you have a coach that is, you know, screaming or yelling at your uh, son or daughter, you need to remove them from that situation. Because I, you know, it, it, you, what you, what you're doing is you're just, you know, you might think, think it's great because they're pushing them, but really what they're doing is pushing them away. You know, it's really important that you find somebody that's compassionate, that understands, that, that gets it. Because, you know, I just, look, I, I think that everybody can lose their temper from now and again, mm -hmm. but if you're not, you're not focusing on, you know, the important stuff in life, the yelling and screaming at somebody isn't gonna get it better. You know, there can be discipline, which is different than yelling and screaming, but confidence is so easily lost. Mm -hmm. And I think how confidence is gained, we talk about this, is, is routine, doing the same thing every day, every day, every day, every day with, you know, routine and, and, and the same the right way. And if you do that, then the confidence comes. And there's still gonna be ups and downs when you when you struggle, you know, there's still, and you you and I, right? We can yeah. we can still have you know confidence killers today, right? But you have to have these tools inside you that says, you know, okay, I can fight through this, I can bust through it and 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 get it out there. So, you know, confidence is a tough one, man, you know, for anybody, but you just need to keep, you know, we call it just press on, press on. Yeah, so and that's incredibly important and when that happens that confidence might slip you might go into a little bit of self-doubt and then that's one of the subjects in your book and and that's an important one because that's how the confidence slips so how do you how do you um, handle that and how do you kind of say okay I'm sorry to self-doubt I'm, I'm sorry to you know think negatively about myself how do I change that around a little bit and kind of get a more of a positive aspect from from that yeah so I that's a, I think that there's a couple of different ways that we can look at it you know through my life I've had very you know very many ups and downs mm -hmm. and you know there I call it the good voice and the bad voice I have a really good friend if you're out there uh, I, I suggest you go buy this I, he doesn't pay me to plug this or anything else but uh, my friend Bob Litwin uh, wrote a book called the best story of your life it's an incredible book uh, I think everybody should go on Amazon and buy it it's also on audible.com but the basically is writing your new story, and he talks a lot about that. And I think, uh, you know, self doubt I think creeps in everybody. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. let's 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 stick to tennis for a little while because it's what we know best. And you know, you can be, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you worked really hard out there for two and a half hours, and you find yourself down three one in the third, right? You you know came back, you won the second set, and you feel a little confidence going into the third, and then all of a sudden it's it's one all, you get broken, and now it's two one, the other guy holds three one, and what's, what's our brain thinking? Oh man, you know, here I go, I'm gonna lose this set. Right there, that little, that little verbiage, oh, here we go again, I'm gonna lose that set. This is what happens to me in three third sets. 
that's the negative voice that wants to come out. And what I've found is that when that self-doubt comes out, you really have to have, you know, what I call the confidence king to trump that, that voice and, 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 the, and little one-liners to, to kind of drown out that noise. You know, there again, that's noise. Uh, and just remember this, uh, this is really important for you guys out there, is a thought is just a thought. That's it. It's not real. And I think sometimes when you get that thought of negativity, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you got to drown it out with, with something better. You know, you know what? All I have to do is stay present and stay right here in the moment. Stay present and stay right here. Keep fighting. Keep fighting at every point. Fight, fight, fight. And then what happens is, is that you're staying present instead of thinking of the past. You know, most of we talk about this worrying is is basically meditating on the negative worrying is meditating on the negative and i think if we do that then all of a sudden what happens is is that we start to think that way so by you know you hear all this you know wonderful stuff of mm -hmm. mindfulness and present you know deepak chopra talks a lot about being present and whether you like him or whether you don't it's really important that we stay present because when you're present you're not thinking of the past or the future. So really acknowledging those voices of, of, of the negative voices and saying, you know, look, I'm not gonna play that game. I'm gonna follow it up with a positive statement. And I will tell you this, just like practicing your forehands cross court, it's really important that you practice, have these daily practices. And we're gonna talk a lot more about this stuff in the future, but I just can't talk enough about really good, positive, you know, thoughts inside our head. We're all going to get negatives. We're all going to get negatives, mm -hmm. but you just got to follow it up with positives each yeah. and every day. Yeah, that's important to keep focusing on the good stuff, and so that you that comes into your life. You don't want to focus on the negative because then that'll happen. Kind of so that self-fulfilling pro prophecy. And just speaking uh, along that, sorry, uh, no, speaking yeah. along that is that you know you hear about this stuff all the time. Is that what you think about, you attract in your mm -hmm. life. And I think the same goes on the tennis court. It's like, you know, I find with so many kids, you know, their worst fear, what is it? Losing. Yep. They're afraid to lose. And and what I'm trying to instill in my, my own two kids and the kids that I work with is that don't be afraid. Losing is part of this game and it's gonna be where, you know, what yep. happens, but don't be afraid to lose. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Because I think if you are, you know, if you are, then then you know you're doing yourself a disservice. You know, mm -hmm. put your name out there and and put put yourself in tournaments that you should win. Put yourself in tournaments that you might not win. You know, put yourself in all kinds of situations and then and then deal with the outcome. Awesome, thank you. Well, thank you for joining us today. We've really appreciated you spending your time with us. We've loved sharing this information with you. So. Uh, we just hope that you guys are enjoying this and uh, look, give us your feedback on uh, YouTube and on our Facebook page. We just love to hear from you. Uh, check back tomorrow again for another episode of our daily vlog. Thank you, George. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Ben. Have a great day. Thanks, everyone.